Hi, my name is Stephen Pope and I'm the founder of My Amazon Guide. In this video, I'm going to be talking about A plus content, some recent changes to the enhanced brand content modules and what that means for you. Um, so I am uh, just posted an article today on Feedback Wiz. Uh, they're guest sponsoring me. Feedback Wiz is an, an email automation program. And it is, in my opinion, best on market right now. They've got some really cool tools. You can't get this access anywhere else. And I feel like they've passed some of their competitors. So you can see this is the article that I published today with them, um, all about this A-plus content. We'll have a link to this, as well as how to sign up with Feedback Wiz if you're interested. Um, <clears throat> but in any case, so one of the biggest changes with A-plus content, when you, when you log into your Seller Central portal and you put your cursor over advertising and, and, and you're looking at enhanced brand content, it pulls up this screen now. This is a really recent change. And at the end of the day, the real summary of this video and conversation is that they merged the concept of what it is enhanced brand content from the seller central side into A plus content, which is the vendor central terminology. So everything is called A plus content now. And uh, a couple of key takeaways from that. So what does that mean for you as a seller? Number one, if you've built anything in a custom template in enhanced brand content and you're coming back to make an edit, you will have to rebuild it. So it's going to cause some rework and some rehash. Number two, the modules that you're using. So if we were to go to a particular uh, product page, so I'm going to go to amazon.com slash monster, and then I'm going to click on a particular product. So I'm just going to go for Fox sake. So this module down here um, and all of this work here would have to be redone. So they're, they're also requiring that this logo location to be filled in. So previously you could leave it blank. That is no longer the case. Um, additionally, if you're using, uh, let's say you're using this module like this and you wanted to use this module three times because you've got really big photos. That's no longer possible. So you can only use this any particular module two times. And that won't impact very many people, but it could impact some. Uh, my favorite module is the product grid. I'm a really big fan of it. I think it's a great way to upsell product. I think it's a great way to position product, especially if you've got a good, better, best mode. You can compare and contrast them. If your catalog is very diverse, it allows you to introduce other categories. Um, or if you've just got different flavors of variations that you want to upsell and push, you can position all of those into the product grid. So really big fan of that. Um, but inside of the portal, there is a drop down to learn about the content managers. So I highly recommend you read through that. It does go through some key, um, key issues. Now the things that I started on in this particular video um, are not generally covered uh, in this PDF. Um, so this is supplemental to that on some key takeaways that I feel like they've missed. But this walks through how every step works to create content. So that's not really the focus of my video, but I will kind of briefly touch on it. At the end of the day, you're going to build the template. You're going you're gonna to customize everything. And then after that, you can then assign the ASINs to it. So that's really interesting to point out because previously you had to cross apply enhanced content one to one. You couldn't mass apply. Uh, with this latest change, uh, I've got a screenshot in the article that explains how you can now apply to every child in the parentage. So this is the parent skew. Here's all the children. Okay, check, check, check. I wanted to apply to all of them is now possible. Uh, previously, you had to copy it one to one. Super annoying. Um, so that's a really great upgrade. Uh, so a lot of a lot of downsides to the new thing, but probably the best upgrade is the ability to apply this in mass. So the larger your catalog, the more important that was. Um, they did not get rid of any particular modules, so that's also good news. So you can they've got puppy modules, and you can select and contrast with what works best for you. Um, none of those went away, which is good. Um, and then after you review and submit it, uh, I have seen accounts that get instantaneous approval, and I've seen some that take two weeks. It's very odd and weird. For the most part, A-plus content is reviewed by a human, uh, and they are prohibiting certain language. So uh, 
my team is constantly caught off guard by what things they prohibit, but a very kind of major takeaway, they do prohibit any guarantees, any dollar mentions, anything that's too salesy. So when in doubt, don't talk about buying your product, don't mention anything timely, and don't mention warranty or any guarantees. So if you do that, you're much safer. Any claims you make, especially if you're in categories where claims are important for health reasons, supplements, or anything related to beauty, you have to back up that claim. So if you say, hey, this is a HEPA-approved filter, you gotta, you got to show your certification. Or if you say, hey, this cures diabetes, you have to have a, have a proof of that from the FDA. So Amazon is entering maturity phase right now. They're getting more uh, risk-prone. They are not allowing the Wild Wild West in content anymore. So we continue to also see crackdown on detail page removals for putting keywords into the contents that cause robots to pick up on it. So for example, we know that CBD is prohibited on Amazon today. That will probably change in the future, but if you use the CBD keyword anywhere, um, cabinoids, marijuana, etc., if you use any of those phrases, your detail page is at risk from being removed without human review. It'll just happen. So be very cautious on what you put into your content and what keywords you put in. Um, so at the end of the day, this, this is a great guide to kind of show you the steps. So definitely check that out. We'll have a link to that in uh, in the description. One other ma uh, major cu couple of I want to start talking about some major tips. So tip number one: take as much space as you possibly can. So back to our example listing. There's a lot of text, some big images. There's a big reason why you want to do this. When you're building content for regular e-commerce opportunities, such as your website, you generally don't want to take up a lot of space. In fact, the opposite is true. So I've got a funnel for my own services. And when, when you go to my services page, so let's say you wanted to build enhanced brand content with me. I have a very simple page with one call to action, and I want to push you down that marketing funnel because hey, I charge 500 bucks to build enhanced content and $20 per SKU to, to publish it. And if you click on this, uh, we, will, uh, we will instantly have your information and you go through checkout and you're done, right? That, that's a clean marketing funnel. And on below, we show some examples of content. On the Amazon side of things, you've got lots of noise, right? So you have all of your own product stuff that you've submitted. But then you've got a banner here for something unrelated, a banner there for something unrelated. Look at these bulk savings on products. Here's some sponsored products, by the way. Other people are buying. Other people are looking at. Here's four stars and above more ads. So the, the, the amount of noise is just insane. Compare with similar items. Okay, and then see the sponsored product row again. So like how many ads is that? If we were to count up every single ad, it would be like well above 50. 50 different products being advertised on my detail page on Amazon. That doesn't happen on your own e-commerce website. If you're selling a product on your own website, you've got your one product, your positions on your detail page, and maybe something cross-promotional if you want, maybe a personalized product row, uh, for example. So the reason why I say take as much space as possible on your enhanced content is because you want to push all of that other noise, this competing noise right here, away from your own product. It's very important to do that. Um, and so that's that's a really major major tip. So another tip is write as much copy as you possibly can. So I've seen a lot of descriptions where they're like less than 50 words, two sentences. That is not sufficient for Amazon success. You need to have upwards of 700, 1,000 words of copy um, or characters. And that's really important because if you don't have that amount of copy, you're going to uh, reduce your opportunity to get keyword organic rankings. So if we were to go look at all of the keyword rankings using, uh, you know, using a tool to look at the keyword rankings, you would see that this page is going to be ranked for you know, 2,000 keywords organically. That's a big deal. That's 2,000 additional keyword opportunities that this page uh, will position for, and you wouldn't have that if you didn't have lots of copy. Copy uh, in the title is the number one SEO factor for ranking. We saw Amazon rumor that they were going to go down from 200 character limits down to 50. Now they did back off that rumor, uh, but don't be surprised if that resurfaces. Uh, so 
as that time goes on, as that develops, you're going to see the bullet points and the EBC A plus content copy become more and more important. So position yourself, have lots of copy. Now, is the consumer going to read all this copy? No, that's not the point. You're, you're, you're writing the copy for the robot. Should you write the copy as if the consumer is going to read it? Absolutely. Should it be relevant and helpful copy? You betcha. But at the end of the day, just simply having a bunch of copy is really the threshold I'm looking for. Um, keywords should be implemented into the physical copy. Uh, going back to my, my list here, uh, make sure you use the product grid. It is super, super valuable to have the product grid. Uh, so going back to the page here, this product grid right here is going to increase your average order value, your upsell opportunities, and all those things. Here's another major takeaway. This is probably the most important thing that people aren't doing today. You need to set the alt text for every photo in A-plus content. Now, if you don't understand SEO, and this is the first time you've ever heard of alt text, it's a fancy way of saying the text that's behind the photo that tells the robot what the image is about. There's 100 characters, and each independent photo can have, uh, can have alt text. So this photo on the left here can be all about uh, my glass. The photo on the right here, however, can be all about Khaleesi and her dragon because it's a mother of dragons photo, right? By and then and here's a screenshot of what that alt text code looks like, and you can see the alt right there: wine glass, Game of Thrones, glasses, mother of dragons, stemless, favors mother, day drinking, right? And then the other one is game gifts, colored got glassware, party buddy, eye buddies, quotes, whiskey, goblet, kitchen, restaurant. So very different keyword sets between each of these photos and. By the way, don't forget to set one of your photos to Spanish. Uh, Amazon claims, they make claims all the time, and we find out their faults. Uh, they claim they do not index alt text of photos. I am telling you, they do. And I have proven it because I put Spanish behind a single photo and started to index for it when, when it's not, it is not locatable anywhere else on the detail page, not in the title, not in the bullets, not in the back end search terms, only Spanish text in the alt text of a specific photo. So I know for a fact that they index it. So take the time and set it. If you've already published your A-plus content and you're like, well, I don't know if it's been set, very easy to find out. Go to any photo on Amazon on one of your detail pages, right click it, hit the inspect button, and you will see right here, alt text, what does the fox say? For fox sake, animal lover, gift, wine, glasses with funny sayings on them, foxy. Right? And so you can find out very quickly if, if the person in charge of your A plus content has put the correct alt text in it, you can go in here and check, right click, view element, inspect. There you go. There's the code. So, major importance to put unique keywords in that. Another thing about how you set that is Typically, when you do keywords, you think of keywords like keyword one, comma, keyword two, comma, keyword three, comma. It doesn't work like that on Amazon. You just need the word one time, and it will multi-permutate with every other keyword in the sentence. So, for example, if you have the word wine one time, it will combine with glass, dragon, mothers, etc. You don't need to be like wine glass, wine dragon, wine mothers. You know, Mother's Day gift for wine or whatever. You can just simply write a string on sentence that has... Uh, it's a run-on sentence, really, uh, and, and put that all together, and that will be effective. This is also true of your back-end search terms on Amazon as well. Um, so, so that is all the content on A-plus contents. Um, we do build these on your behalf. We charge 500 bucks to build it, enhanced content or A-plus content. Uh, it is, in my opinion, if you don't have it today on your listing right now, it is the most important, number one thing you do for a listing, and it's and then maybe a close second is run ads. But I'm telling you, enhanced content will generate uh, its worth in gold. You should definitely get it set up. It has massive impacts to your organic rankings. Um, I've taken many dozens and dozens of clients where we had no enhanced content, we'll, and they're, they're ranking for maybe 50 keywords. We'll load the enhanced content within 30 days, they're at 150 keywords. Within 90 days, they're at 500 indexed keywords. Makes that big of a difference. Now, it does not necessarily mean it's going to put you on page one for a particular keyword, but it's going to index you for dozens and hundreds of new keywords you would not have had access to otherwise. Your title is just not sufficient to do all of your SEO juice, but start with the title, then work your way down, get an A-plus content built. Um, so that, that's my video. If you guys want to reach out or hire us, you can find me, Stephen, at myamazonguy.com, or simply go to amazonguy.com and click on Contact Us, and we'll be happy to help you. Thanks so much.